festivals come and go but sadly most of the times we fail to even look into the direction of what and why we are really celebrating so this kt explainer is a small effort from our side to give you an overview of the upcoming muslim festival called eid ul adha or more popularly known as bakra eid which is the second of the two islamic holidays celebrated worldwide each year the other one being eid ul fitr so let's begin with the month in which eid ul adha also known as the festival of sacrifice or greater eid is marked this month is called zul hijjah and the first day of this holy month which is also the last month of the islamic lunar calendar was marked across the uae and saudi arabia on friday august 2nd 2019 Also Zul Hijjah is a very sacred month for us Muslims and this is also the month when the Hajj pilgrimage takes place that's why you can see the word Hijjah in the name of the month so that's because it's also the month of the Hajj pilgrimage which is also one of the five pillars of Islam and every muslim who can afford and physically is able to perform must perform this pilgrimage so Hajj starts on the 8th day of this month and culminates in Bakr Eid on the 10th day Now coming to why we celebrate Eid al-Adha the way we do it by sacrificing a prescribed animal I have to narrate to you a short story of Prophet Ibrahim peace be upon him because Eid al-Adha is the commemoration of Prophet Ibrahim's complete submission to the will of God so the story goes like this that in order to test Prophet Ibrahim peace be upon him God commanded him to sacrifice his dearest possession his only son Ismail such was the unconditional love devotion and sincerity of prophet ibrahim peace be upon him towards god that upon hearing the command he prepared to submit to god's will when he was all set for the sacrifice god revealed to him that his sacrifice had already been fulfilled and prophet ibrahim was surprised to see that his son ismail was unharmed and instead he found a slaughtered ram in front of him Prophet Ibrahim had passed the test by demonstrating his willingness to carry out God's command. Since that day, Hajj rituals were ordered by Allah, where every Muslim would trace the footsteps of Prophet Ibrahim peace be upon him and sacrifice an animal in commemoration of this event. The prescribed animal, usually goat or sheep, is sacrificed by Muslims and divided into three parts. One third of the share is given to the poor, another third is given to relatives, friends and neighbors. and the remaining third is retained by the family this is not merely about history it's about the lessons we take from it in our daily lives now how to make the most of these blessed days number 1 remember god offer salah at the earliest and increase the number of rakats in it number 2 recite the quran frequently and reflect upon the meaning also read takbirat that is that are praises of allah subhanahu wa taala Number 3 Keep yourself busy in beneficial activities such as social work and give as much charity as you can because the blessings are manifold in these 10 days. Number 4 Fast as many of the first 9 days of this month of Zulhijjah. Especially do not forget to fast on the 9th day which is the day of Arafa as it is hoped that fasting on this day will inshallah help in expiation of previous years and the coming years sins. So here is wishing you all a very blessed first 10 days of Zul Hijjah and happy Eid al-Adha or Bakr Eid in advance. Be good and do good. Thanks for watching.